In this video, we are going to learn how to work with the trigonometric ratios, which are sine, cosine, and tangent, with our calculators. Now, the first thing that you have to realize is that the trigonometric ratios are constant. So what that means is the sine, for example, of a 30 degree angle will always be the same, no matter how big or small the triangles are. And this is because any right triangle with a 30 degree angle in it is similar to any other right triangle with a 30 degree angle in it, so all the ratios are consistent. So let's just look at that as an example. So if we look at this smaller 30, 60, 90 triangle, and I've labeled the sides 2, 2 root 3, and 4, from the 30 degree angle, the opposite side is 2, 4 is the hypotenuse, and 2 root 3 is the adjacent side. So the sine of 30 degrees, according to this triangle, is 2 over 4, which is 1 half. And the way you get that is you remember sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So sometimes it helps to write SOHCAHTOA to use as a reference. Now what if we looked at the bigger triangle? Maybe you'd think, well, maybe here the sine will be bigger. Sine of 30 degrees, well, opposite is 6, and hypotenuse is 12. We won't use the adjacent side, but that would be 6 root 3. So the sine of 30 with this triangle is going to be 6 over 12, which also reduces to 1 half. So as you can see, the sine of 30 will always be 1 half. And what's really cool is that our calculators have this programmed in. They know the sine, cosine, and tangent of any angle. So if you look at the calculator over here, and if we push sine and then 30, and then push enter, we see, oh, 0.5, which is the same as 1 half. So we can use our calculator to figure out the ratios if we don't know already the sides of the triangle. So let's think about another example. Suppose we had this triangle here. It's a right triangle, and in it, there's a 22 degree angle. Now, 22 degree angles are not in any sort of special right triangle, so we don't know of any pre-existing pattern between the sides. We're trying to figure out this missing side, x, but we only know one side of the triangle, so we can't use the Pythagorean theorem. But we can use our calculator to help us out. These two sides that are given, from the 22 degree angle, 5 is the opposite side and x is the hypotenuse. The unmarked side would be the adjacent side. So the 5 and the x are opposite and hypotenuse, so that's dealing with sine. So what we know is that the sine of 22 degrees must equal 5 over x, because sine is always opposite over hypotenuse. Now we don't know what sine of 22 degrees is off the top of our heads, but this is where we can use our calculator to help us. So if we go over to our calculator and push in sine 22, enter, we get some long decimal. And most of the time you will get long decimals. You won't get nice even things like 0.5, but that's okay. What we're going to do is round to a couple decimal places. I'm gonna write 0.37, 5 equals 5 over x, and now we can solve this equation by cross multiplying. If you think about 0.375 is like 0.375 over 1, we can cross multiply here, and what we'll end up with is 5, because 1 times 5 is 5, equals 0.375x, and then we just want to divide both sides by 0.375, and we can get our answer. 5 divided by 0.375, and we get our answer 13.333, so x is approximately 13.33. Now we always want to do our reality check to make sure that it makes sense, and it does because we know the hypotenuse should be the longest side, and 13.33 is bigger than 5. So this is how you can use your calculator to help you out when you don't have a situation where it's a special triangle that you already know some relationship or pattern with, which will be the case most of the time, 
you can use your calculator to give you the ratios, sine, cosine, or tangent. It will work for any of them. The only thing you do want to be careful about is that your calculator is set in degree mode. Um, on this calculator, you can check that by going into mode, and you can see that degree is highlighted as opposed to radian, but it sort of depends on your calculator. So you want to check that out. You can always test if sine of 30 equals 0.5, and if it doesn't, then you're in the wrong mode.